So we just moved house yesterday and I'm really excited to show you guys my new sewing room. Here it is. It's super messy right now, still needs to be unpacked. And there's probably some things in here that aren't really sewing, but this is gonna be my sewing room, my art studio, my home office, and then it's also gonna hold all of my clothes. I have reached a stopping point for tonight. I am exhausted and I didn't make as much progress as I wanted to, but things are looking good. I actually have a clear space in the middle of the floor. Um, and now I think it's time for bed. Welcome to the new sewing room. So let's start out over here. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through my setup. I've got my little hand sewing tray with my scissors and kind of all my little gear here, right next to my new sewing table. And it is a standing desk, so I can kind of change the height, but I usually just keep it at this height because I prefer to stand sewing up. But it's super exciting because now I have a place to actually keep my sewing machine out. Uh, except sometimes I do still move it down like to do cutting or to do handwork on the surface. Coming around here, uh, well to my left is like a big giant mirror. There's a closet back there, so lots of storage space. And then we've got the window here. This is where I'm keeping my mannequin or my, my dress form. And my bookshelf. So I've got all my different sewing reference books. I've got um, a little bit of mock-up fabric down there. And my little organizers for all my paper stuff. And uh, like charging cables and that kind of thing. When I'm trying to decide on fabric, I will usually leave some fabric swatches out here to kind of take a look at as the day goes on in different lighting. Then we have my desk. So this is the same desk that I had in my old space with the beautiful wooden top. They no longer sell this top, otherwise I would have gotten it for my other sewing desk. Um, but oh well, I would have loved to have had it. It's beautiful. But this is where I work from home and where I do my video editing. I've got my chair there, which kind of stows out of the way, it's a kneeling chair. You may have to sit down and show you guys what it looks like, but I absolutely love my kneeling chair. And I also love it because when I'm not using it, it stows completely underneath the desk. Got my microphone for recording and, you know, keep my iPad and extra computers and all that stuff there. And then I do often sit at this desk uh, during work meetings and also uh, like I might put some uh, TV show up and I'll sit here and do some hand sewing. So usually have quite a bit of hand sewing accoutrement there. That's my old office chair. Um, so it's just there for if my fiance decides he wants to come and chat. I've got another walk-in closet there. Uh, I won't show you guys because it is not really organized yet. It's kind of a mess, um, but it's just like a little, little walk-in closet. And then all my tripods and lights and stuff stacked in the corner. Now this I'm really excited about. This is a garment rack and I've decided that 
I am going to keep all of my in progress things for the year up and then as I finish things this pile and and this rack will grow so I'll get to kind of like see my progress throughout the year so and I also just I like how it makes the room look like I feel like it just it makes it look like a sewing room um and I've got my little stool there to kind of stack things on that don't that don't hang So then coming around, we've got my organizer. This is new. Um, I got this to store all of my fabrics and everything in. So I'll give you guys not a full tour because I don't think you really need to see everything that's in these, but I'm storing fabrics in the bottom. Um, and they are organized by fabric type. So I've got like a drawer for cottons. Uh, this is a drawer for linens. So I love that I can have all of my fabrics organized that way. So the first two rows are fabrics. And then the other ones are like all my laces and trims. Um, this, this one has uh, my fabric swatch collection, which is on papers and uh, in that little box there, an old cigar box that I just thought was cute. So yeah, I love having a place to keep all of my stuff and actually have my sewing things organized. It's really, really nice. Then this is the other side of my sewing table, which I will often also use for handwork. So you can see I've got some stuff out here that I'm getting ready to sew. And I keep my paper patterns that I print out in a little folio underneath the table there. And I just love that I have this big open space to lay fabric out on the floor. I also do yoga here a lot, so I just, I love how much space I have now. 